Today's mask from Guatemala represents a monkey in contemporary Maya style. Carved from wood and bordered with whorls, this simian caricature was worn during a folk dance called the monos and micos. While mono is a general term for monkey in Spanish, mico translates more specifically to the owl monkey or spider monkey. Brian Stevens described mico masks from the Department of Alta Verapaz, Guatemala, with design and make strikingly similar to this examples. For his photos and discussion of the mico, I link to MexicanDanceMasks.com in the description box. The mask featured here from the San Antonio Museum of Art also appears to originate from the Alta Verapaz region, toward the center of the country, just northeast of the Quiche territory in which most of the Popol Wuh took place. Monkey masks continue to appear in many traditional dances that give rhythmic, dramatic expression to Maya folklore in Guatemala, and often these simian figures relate to episodes in the Popol Wuh itself. The Museum of Cultural Masks, for example, mentions the presence of Miko masks in two famous performances from southwest Guatemala, the Deer Dance and the Feast of St. Thomas. In the former, the monkey is among a menagerie of masked dancers recalling the balance between humans and wildlife sought in ancient Maya hunting rituals. You may remember from previous episodes the appearances of the jaguar, dog, deer, monkey, and macaw, all features at masked figures in this dance. One of the spectacles during the Feast of St. Thomas is the pole-flying dance of Titi Castenango. A colossal wooden pole is raised in the town square, and monkey dancers climb its ladder in pairs. Harnessed by ropes attached to an overhead frame, the dancers swing down in spinning motion as the frame unwinds the ropes. I have posted a link in the description to the Museum of Cultural Masks website for photos of and details about this event. The movement of the monkey pair, first climbing the pole and then descending, has been likened to the transformation of the monkey twins upon the tree and their attempt to return to the ground. Many of today's Maya in Guatemala keep deep roots with the languages, customs, and folklore of their pre-conquest ancestors. And, like the Quiche king Kukumats from the last episode, they recognize the Popol Wuh, the book for the council mat, as a lens to see beyond regular time and space and glimpse into the ancient past. Through this playlist, we too have ventured to do the same. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Eye of the Serpent channel for updates. Your Patriot support goes toward travel, research, and production. Thank you for watching, and good roads.